In this video, I want to show you how you can match and merge data that is approximately similar using fuzzy matching in Power BI. I'm going to show you how to use it and also how you can tweak it to make your matches a lot better. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So if you work with data like me long enough, you'll tend to work with data that is either just not clean or not formatted properly enough. And if you need to do any transformations to it, it can be a little bit tricky and difficult. So let me show you what I mean. So here in my demo, I created a Power BI report that has three tables, but we'll focus on the first two tables here at the moment. So the first table is the staff, which just gives us a clean list of all our staff along with their name and their staff number. In our second table here is a third party list that we get from a separate entity. So they give us the name of the employee and the expense that the employee has taken. And now our task at the moment is to match the expense here to the staff on the table here. And to do that, as you know, we'll need to do a merge between these two tables. So let's try to do that and let me show you the problem. So if we go to combine merge queries and we're gonna merge the staff and the third party list here, we will match it because there's no staff number um, and the name we will match by the name and full name, which were giving us some preview here saying that there's only one match between the two tables. So let's have a look at what uh, what that is. So if we hit OK and we expand the uh, table on the right, the third party list, let me just make this window a little bit bigger. So here you'll see that the only uh, record that ma matched is Adam Smith. And that's because the name that we have in our staff is exactly the same that we have in that list. Um, which is Adam Smith. If we go back to that list, for example, you'll see that is the only one that matched because they are matched 100%. So if we go back here in our merge, now we need to find a way to match similar looking data. Like for example, if you look at Jane Joseph, for example, uh, the full name has a space, uh, but if in this third party list, uh, there is no space. So you'll see that there is some variances, but not so much. So we're just looking for a way to match similar looking data uh, without having to do all the transformations. And this is where fuzzy matching comes in. So to use fuzzy matching in Power BI, you simply go through the same process of the merging, except you just toggle it. So if we go back to the staff query and you go back to that step where we merged our two tables. If I hit the cog icon here, um, here, when we did the match and merge, you will see an option here where you can toggle, uh, use fuzzy matching to perform the merge. And you'll see that it matched five out of five, um, which we will uh, look at in a second. But if we expand on the fuzzy matching options, there are a bunch of options that uh, we can explore and we will explore them. But for now, we'll just leave them as default as it is. And let's have a look at the result from this fuzzy match. If we hit OK and we go back to the expand, you'll see that it's now matched some columns, uh, you know, fuzzy matched them, even though they're not exactly similar. And that's pretty much how you use fuzzy matching in Power BI, which is honestly pretty easy. But now I want to go a little bit deeper on the custom options available for you to tweak the fuzzy matching. So if we go back to that merge uh, window, and let's expand this fuzzy matching options and let's have a look at this together. So the similarity threshold controls the percentage of your strings match. So basically, if you want your matches to be a lot stricter than what we have now, you just simply put a number here of a higher percentage. So let's give it a try. So uh, if you hover over the eye, it just gives you all of this information. So you don't really have to um, 
know it by heart, but let's just say, let's change the threshold to 98%. If we hit okay, some of our um, matches will disappear. And that's normal because what we've done is we've just become a little bit stricter with our uh, threshold. So we said, um, as long as it's a 98% match or above, match it, otherwise ignore it. So that's what's happened here. If we go back to the merge window again and go to fuzzy matching options, uh, it's an optional value, the similarity threshold, so you don't have to uh, use that if you don't want to. You have some options here, ignore case and match by combining parts and they're toggled by default. So if you untoggle them, it will cause the fuzzy match to pay attention to either the case of the uh, text that you're merging on or if the texts are split. So if we just deselect both of these and I want to show you how that looks like. If I hit OK and go back here to the list, you'll see that both Jane Cruz, sorry, Jane Joseph and Carl Cruz wasn't matched. And that's because in our third party list here, uh, Jane Joseph, obviously there's a space in between which is not ignored uh, by the fuzzy match, so it doesn't get uh, merged. And Carl Cruz, um, although it, it also has no space, but also the um, the casing now matters. So the next thing, if we go back to the uh, merge window once again, go to the options here, you can also set and toggle the maximum number of matches that you want to perform in this merge. So at the moment, obviously it's unlimited. Um, as long as there is a uh, fuzzy match, it will try to match. However, you can set this maximum. So let's say, for example, we just put this as one, right? So we say um, for every staff, I want to just match with one and stop there. And we're doing that because uh, Walter White has, uh, if we just cancel this quickly and just show you, uh, Walter White has two expense items on the third party list. And we uh, just say, for example, for the sake of this example, we want to just match one of the expense for Walter White. So this is what you would use this option on. So we're gonna go back here and just do one. And if we go back to the result here, you'll see that um, although Walter White has uh, two expenses that fuzzy matched in the third party list, it's only picking up one of them. So you'll see um, it's these two expenses here. So lastly, if you go back to the merge a window for the last time. There is an option here, the transformation table, which allows you to create manual mapping um, that the fuzzy matching will use. Um, and we're doing that because we have a, some columns here, some expenses that are just first names, and it doesn't quite fit into the threshold uh, that we will set in fuzzy matching. However, we know that when uh, the expense is Adam, it will need to be Adam Smith, Kyle will be Kyle Cruz, and Jane will be Jane Joseph. So what I've done is I've created this uh, manual transform table that does exactly that. So manually we're saying um, from Adam, any instances that you find Adam, uh, this refers to Adam Smith. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple table. It will be two columns from and to. Uh, from will be what you need to find and then what it should be. And this needs to be manually created if you want to use it in your fuzzy merge. So if you go to stuff once more uh, and we can try to show that. So we're gonna go to fuzzy match here and let's just enable these and let's set them back to how they were. And let's go to the transformation table and we choose the transform table right here. And if we hit OK and we go back to our uh, third party list and staff number, there you go. So it's managed to match all of those uh, names in the transform table to say that means Adam Smith, that means Jane, that means Kyle. And it's matched actually completely. So all the expenses that we have in our third party list has been matched to the stuff that we have in the staff list. So we have nine items here, um, all matched to staff and we have nine expense items here. 
And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to use and tweak the fuzzy matching in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.